thank you guys a little bit early. This thanks Thanksgiving week, so we got to be thankful. I thought that game was outstanding offensively, defensively, and special teams. I want to really thank my team and the staff and everybody, especially our assistant coaches. After two weeks of losing, they got together, and we, they really, really done, did a fantastic, phenomenal job with their game plan and, and how we played. Those guys, I mean, they prepared well. Those guys played well. Any questions? Is there any one unit that you felt like made the most dramatic improvement? Yeah, you know what? Here's what happened. You know, the one thing that you do in coaching, you go to practice every day and you want to address some things. And, and we begin to address those things early, you know, two weeks ago, right after the game. And then we continue, we continue. And so, you know, just the false starts were one of the things. The penalties were one. The minnows, we were very minimal mental, had very minimal minnows. The, the running game was outstanding. You know, I thought we threw the ball as well as we've done in the past month. You know, defensively, those guys played like you would expect those guys to play. And one other thing, you know, we played everybody. I mean, we played everybody we could possibly play, played in this particular football game. And they played substantial plays. So it was, it was a good feeling. It was a good way to, to leave the Supernova. Yeah, you know what, I think Rice is a good program. I think they went to a bowl game last year and won, won the game. You know, you, you look at those programs like that, you know, academic programs, I would call them. I, don't, I think all programs are academic, but similar private schools. And, uh, you know, they, they've been a, in, a, in this league and they understand the league and, and they've done a phenomenal job with, you know, getting their players in and getting their players to play. And, and you know, they, they've won a bowl game. <laughs> You know what the bottom line is? We just got to win. No matter what happens, we got to win. So, so you know, you approach it like any other game. Even though there's there's definitely something on the line, you want to look at yourself at the end of the year. You want to have a real, real good taste in your mouth. And you know, if we win this game. At least we tie for a championship. So, you know, you just want to say, hey, this this is for all of, this is for all the marbles. This one is is is, is we got to win this game. You know what? I, I think you want to with, with this with this group of guys. You know, I think for the vast majority of these guys, they are young, or even they haven't been in this position before. So what you want to do is you. I think you want to just keep it as as much as the same, as much as you know. Let let it be a normal day, a normal practice. Work on the things you got to work on, and and don't worry about the big picture. We'll talk about the big picture at the end of this whole thing. The big picture is we got we got to play tomorrow. We got to practice tomorrow morning. Let's get up and go practice. Well, you know what, I, I, we, we all as coaches, we all get, we have high aspirations and high goals. I don't know if, if, if I would have said we got a chance at the last week of the season to play for the conference championship, if I would have said that in the beginning of the season because there were so many variables that we didn't know about. We didn't know about our offensive line. We didn't know who the quarterback was. You know, we had some good backs. Darko was coming back. A lot of guys was com were coming back from injury. So, no, to say I said, yeah, we, we would be here. No, that's not true. But I think our guys played so well throughout the season. I just felt that I wanted them to have some type of reward. And, you know, it feels good to be in this position, but the job's not done. You know, I would say two things about Rice. Now, they have a plethora of backs. Those backs are good. Big backs, fast backs, scat backs, they're good. And then the offensive line is a very, very physical bunch. I would say they're the strongest unit on their football team, you know, physical-wise. But the quarterback is the one thing that makes their, their offense go. He is phenomenal. So we got to stop the running game by stopping the quarterback. And if we can turn this team into being one-dimensional, I just think we'll have a good shot of winning that game.
well, you know, a little bit of a little bit of everything that you that you've said. You know, I don't think that was the strongest opponent. They had a bunch of injuries also. But I think this, I think Nick has gotten stronger, you know, from his injury. He's gotten better and better each week. And now he had the week off before, and now he looks even better. He looked he looked real good today. So I think that helps. And then the backs are healthy. Darkwell looked like he has a little pep in his step. Kelly looked like he's back again. You know, so I think those backs are running the ball well. And our offensive line beginning to get some continuity also because because they are healthy. So, you know, we we getting healthier probably at the right time. I thought it went well. I think those these guys are very, very eager to play this football game because, you know, you look at the seniors, they hadn't been in this position to play. Right now, we we talking about Turkey and then going home and packing the bags. Now we're talking about we really have something to play for. And so, and, and so I thought the seniors did a great job leading. Nick came out, he threw the ball probably as best as he's thrown it, you know, throughout throughout since I've been here. Devin threw the ball well also. You know, this team, you know, they'll, they're going to pose some problems, but if they continue to throw it like they did today, we have a good shot of winning this game. No, he won't. He, he'll, be, he'll be out probably. We probably won't get him back to the bowl game. Zach Morgan didn't practice today. Davenport did a little bit. Davenport will definitely play. Uh, the receivers were good. The backs were good. You know, uh, Cedric, he's out for the year. Uh, I think everybody else was pretty was pretty healthy. Marfisi's back. Oh, right. Well, my wife better have a lot of food because I think they're just going to bum rush my house. I think that's the plan for Thanksgiving. No, we're going to practice early. We're going to practice early. We're going to have you know some of the guys who ever done, done have anywhere to go. You know, they're going to come by the coaches' houses, just what, you know, we plan on doing. And, you know, we want to feed them, have them with a good meal. And, you know, we're going to practice them hard early in the morning. We move and practice up an hour, and then we're going to feed them also. Huge, huge difference. One thing he's done now, he's – He's come here, and you know what I love about him. He's so massive. He's big, and then he's pushes. He's pushed these centers back every play. You watch him. He's just back in the backfield. He and Julius cause so much havoc. It really opens it up for those linebackers and the guys in the secondary. I mean, I think he's probably he and how he and Julius is playing. They they really the anchors to our defense. Well, the biggest trick was to convince Sean that we could practice this morning because they're practicing today, and so he let me practice outside the rain. That was the biggest thing thus far. But you're absolutely right. You know, this is a week of distractions again, and, and what you got to do is whoever has the least amount of distractions, I think that'll be the team that'll win the football game. You know, sometimes getting away on the road is, is even better than being at home because you don't have the home distraction of tickets. You don't have the distraction of, well, this, this, this. All of a sudden now, you're at a place, you're at a site. We're all together at one, at one time. And, you know, but the trick is, like you say, the trick is getting them in, getting them to focus, and getting them to do what they're supposed to do. It's, it's hard to get a road win any, in any, any way, fashion, or, or form. You know, we talked about it the other night. Sean was, 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 that, was our guest speaker for the team, and, you know, we said people was talking about it was a close game with Atlanta, but it is hard in any league to win on the road. And if you can do that, I mean, I think that's what separates you from the, the pack. And what I mean by that is, you know, it's, it's the first thing you do when you turn the program around, you, you win at home. I think that's the first and number one thing. You got to take care of your turf, and then when you can go other places against good teams and you begin to win on the road, that's when you could say we're beginning to turn the corner. This will be a tough opponent for us. This will be a hard game for us. But uh, you know, I think if we practice good t tomorrow and then on Thursday, I think we'll be up for the challenge. Uh, so Sean came in here, or what, uh, we we what we do? We have a guest speaker every night. It's been bankers. It's been doctors. It's been real estate agents every Friday night in a. Uh, so it was his turn. We were t we lost two games, and so he was inspirational. He's very inspirational. What did he say? What was the 
He said our team, he said he followed us from afar, and our team reminds him of the 06 team at the Saints. He said, and he, he, he went on to say, hey, look, you guys are making tradition. He put, a, he put up the, the, uh, Tro, the Troy movie. He said, they make them remember your name. So it was a good message. Yeah, he talked about my weight. Okay, he did. He said I did lose some weight. So, okay. So he stopped the weight issue. That's right. that, you know, you guys go back and forth a little bit about each other's teams. Is he still doing that even though, I mean, he's in the thick of... That'll never stop. That will never stop. <laughs> when I, hey, I was on him about the Pop Warner team last year that he coached, so... <laughs> Yeah, well, we're interested in playing whoever we could, we could possibly play. You know, right now, I think LSU is one of the top teams in the, in the country, you know, and I don't know if we're quite there yet, but I think they are, they're a phenomenal football team. You know, yeah, you like to play them somewhere down the road, you know, you know when we get some stuff going. But, but right now, you know, I like going into a new league, going into our new conference. You just, you know, it's just hard to say we want to play anybody right now. I just want to know who our new league is and try to focus in on this game, Rice, bowl game and then next year see who we playing against. Yeah, you know, in the back of your mind, you always would love to play a game like this in front of your home front fans, in front of your home crowd. Unfortunately, for years, we haven't been able to do that. But, you know, you, you're absolutely right. One of the, one of the big pluses in when you got a new stadium, when you got your own place, you play whenever you want, wherever you want, however you want, whatever time you want. So I would, I would love to be playing this game next year in our, in our new stadium. No, you know what? He's just coming. He, he was he was just released last week. You know, from he had a, he had an eight week deal. I, I can't even remember what it was. It may have been a shoulder or something like that. But it was eight weeks, and he's just starting to, to run around again. Yeah, we well, what, what we want to do is we want to just keep my, keep Devin fresh, and you know, every third ser every third series of the game, we've been putting Devin in just to. Make sure he's ready and alert because, you know, Montana is, he's getting healthier, but he's not 100% healthy yet. Thank you guys very much.